what is going on? Today we're working on some brake lines. Fancy brake lines. Not none of this wimpy stuff. Now, most of you guys have probably run into this issue. You know, low rider, suspension moves up and down. Well, factory brake lines weren't really designed to go that far. There are temporary fixes, you know, putting a spacer in here, loosening that up. And that's kind of break up, you know, not really a good way to do it. Uh, one thing I really, really, really hate is seeing a really nice car with the brake lines just in there dangling or stretched out or 42,000 extensions all put in there. That looks like trash, man. I hate that. You know, people put so much time and so much money in making everything look good and just have that thing flopping around. Terrible. So, I had the same problem. So, it took me a long, long time to actually reach out to somebody well, for somebody to actually kind of work with me in building some brake lines. A uh, company I've been working with is called Resco Hydraulics. Uh, we've good been going back and forth. I've got a few things lined up, basically trying to help him organize a catalog that way you guys can just call and say, hey, I got a big body, I need 16 inch brake lines. You know, instead of trying to figure out what fitting goes on what end, what goes with what car, you know. Cadillac big bodies, they got weird brake lines. They got the little bubble flare thing, I hate, but He's got the stuff that can work with it. Um, we're not 100% through the trial and uh, error stage, I guess you'd say. Uh, they do fit really good. One fits perfectly. The other one, we're still working on the fittings, getting it to line up with the factory uh, little notches that they make. Uh, so far, what I'm doing is just drilling this one out, and it still fits. As you can see, I'll bring it in closer, but I got the factory tanners in there. They clip in, they lock in. Uh, this one you can tighten very well, you know, it locks in so it can't spin. This one I had to put a wrench on. Not a huge deal, you know, for a good looking stainless steel coated brake line. Uh, I'm very happy just doing that. It has a nut on the back side, so you can put a wrench on there. So, you know, you're really not, you know, fighting anything. So it's pretty sweet. But I'll bring you in. Let's take a look at them. Uh, these are 16 inch long. The ones on my car, I think we're 24 inches maybe. I forget. I went, I did a few different measurements. Uh, the first one I gave them, they work good, but they're a little bit tight. So I gave them some longer measurements. I got those on the table. I haven't put them on my car yet, uh, just because I don't have my car anymore. But uh, I've got them, so <laughs> I guess next time I'll be ready. But yeah, uh, bring in. Let's check these out because they are pretty sweet. So this is what we're looking like on our bracket. Yeah, nice coated stainless steel. Uh, you can get these right here, different colors also. I'll show you some other brake lines. Uh, mine, I did them red. And uh, he can also do the stainless different colors, I believe. Maybe it's just the coating. Um, you have to reach out to him and ask. But they got all kinds of different options, which really, really amazed me. I can get you to focus there. See, there's the ends I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, this one does fit that one right there by my finger. Uh, the second one, we're still working on it. Uh, they have one that fits pretty close, but it's a mirror image. Um, so we're still working on it. But like I said... I just drilled that out with a uh, unibit and basically brought it up to the edges of that and it fit perfectly. That's the one I drilled, you really can't tell. Still has the factory clips on it. Totally should have put all that on there before I painted the rear end, but it is what it is. Yeah, they fit, they bolt up good, they're snug, and you know, they don't flop around. And these are some of the other ones I have. I got these for a G body, as you can tell by the back. You got the red uh, little inserts on those as well. Those were for my car, those are the longer ones. Got the stainless steel all the way through it. Got the red inserts as well. And this is the, for the front. You can see it's got a different end on it. Uh, I got these an inch longer than the factories. That way when I lock the cars up, they don't pull on them or tug on them or nothing like that. And as you may be able to see right there, that one fits perfectly. I can put a clip right on it, you know, just like factory. And actually this one here fits pretty good too. Uh, the only problem is that's for an inverted flare and the other ones are for bubble flares. So like I said, it's been kind of a trial and error stage. But we're figuring out little by little. You know, like I said, I'm just working with what I got. I can just send him stuff and he can match it up. And you know, we're just working through it, getting all the kinks ironed out. But uh, so far, I've been very, very happy with it. Everything's fit really good, you know, and it's easy to make it fit if it's not 100% perfect fit. Uh, as I showed you on these, you know, this one does fit perfect. We just gotta tinker around with this fitting, you know, to get it lined up. But it's an easy fix, really, for the Result that you're getting, the quality that you're getting, man, you can't beat it really. The company that I deal with, they're called Rusco Hydraulics. Uh, the guy's name is Mike, that's who I deal with. Um, 
basically I just call him. I, I'm getting to where I can tell him what car it is. You know, we've kind of started developing a little catalog, a little parts list, mainly so you guys can call. And we can say, hey, I got a G body, I got 14 inch cylinders, you know, how long a brake line do I need? He'll already know, you know, versus where, when I got started with it, I was like, hey, I think I need this measurement. You know, he sent it to me and I was like, oh, it kind of worked, but it could be better. So, you know, I've got a decent amount of money tied up in, you know, research and development on this, kind of trying to save you guys the headache from having to do it. Um, you know, if I mess up on a brake line, there's a chance later on I'll build another car. I may have shorter cylinders and I just use that brake line on it. So, um, as I said, there are different colors, you know, different color combos, the inserts. I want to say the lines, I could be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure as he said the lines also. The ends, they just come the color that they are. Uh, sometimes they're a, a silverish color, sometimes they're the brass colors. Kind of just depends on what he has. Um, you know, I would definitely kind of, you know, specify so hey, I need them to match. Because once again, you know, you just want everything to kind of be symmetrical when you're building the car. But uh, yeah, I usually just give them a measurement. What I've been doing is going inside of the fitting to the inside of the fitting. Kind of just getting a measurement that way, contacting with them. Everything's been turning out really, really good. As I said, the company is called Rusco Hydraulics. Uh, I deal with Mike. Uh, the number is 717-538-1020. That's his cell phone, actually. Uh, I call him, I text him also, because I deal with random hours. Uh, he's cool, he knows what we're doing. You know, he knows it's just not like an off the shelf thing yet. We're getting there. But, uh, you know, I kind of describe what, what I need, how long I need it, and we make it happen. Uh, he was also cool enough to give us a discount code uh, going through my channel. So tell him Cadillac Dan sent you. And we got a discount code called Rusco Dan. R-U-S-C-O-D-A-N. So he can give you a 20% off on that. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Um, and in all actuality, these are really good priced on their own. Um, when I was getting my lines built for my Cadillac, I uh, sent in the original lines because I didn't have, I didn't have any brake lines up at the moment. I don't remember what the deal was. I had no brake, no rear brakes, I remember that. So I sent him a factory line and he got my measurements off of that and uh, or got my fittings off of that and I gave him a measurement. It was a little bit too small, it worked actually, it was just a little tight, but that was on my fault because I didn't really know how to measure it. So I ordered another set, as you guys see on the table, uh, which I don't have the car anymore, so I don't have that problem of needing those. So I guess the next car I build, you know, maybe I'll be already ready already. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, they work out very well. I've had, you know, I've used them quite a bit. They're very reliable. I haven't had any issues out of them, so I'm very happy with that. Um, as I said, we are kind of working on getting a catalog. That way you guys can just call. Um, you know, right now we got G bodies. We got Cadillacs, obviously. You know, do a good bit of that. Um, haven't had any Lincolns yet. We are going to work on them. Uh, I've actually got a Lincoln that I'm going to be doing in the future. So that might be that potential right there uh, where I sent it off because I'm definitely going to need bigger brake lines for it. Um, he can do up to 36 inches um, long. That's pretty good size brake line. Granted, with telescopics now, we're kind of creeping up on that. But uh, maybe he'll be able to do them longer eventually. I'm not exactly sure why the restriction is. I'm sure it has something to do with DOT. But they are DOT legal. Um, I guess that's probably why you can only go up to 36 inches. But that's a pretty good brake line, you know. I mean, can't really beat that, that's for sure. So I just kind of want to let you guys in on what we've been working on. Uh, hopefully it'll definitely help you guys out. Just makes a whole cleaner build. Um, you know, you can zip time together, keep everything out of the way of all your drive line components, your exhaust components, and not to mention just clean everything up and make it look a lot better. So I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, remember, you won't know what you can do till you try. You also won't know what you can find until you reach out and you know kind of start asking people for help. So if you got some ideas on what you want to build, you know, reach out and you can contact me, come up with some questions. Maybe I can come up with some answers. You know, one of these things is just you know we kind of keep progressing and keep things you know keep making things better and better. You know, when I got into low riding, you had square tubing for your cylinders. You know, battery racks are bolted to the trunk. You know, that was rough times, but you know everything's progressed from there and just. Networking with everybody else has really helped, you know, just advance all that and make things better. You know, one person may have a good idea, another person may have a better idea. You know, just talking back and forth. And that's how, kind of how I feel low riding should be. You know, everybody's sharing their knowledge. One, it keeps everybody a little bit safer. You know, we can build better cars. Two, you know, you just come up with some really cool ideas. So, as I said, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, contact Mike if you need some brake lines. He'll get you hooked up. Tell him Cadillac Dan sent you. Give him the uh, discount code, Rusco Dan. 
and uh, he'll get you hooked up and get you some stuff shipped out. I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. What's <laughs>